series of alleles in rabbit for fewer color. As you remember in previous video, we have been studied on blood groups, which an example for multiple alleles. Now another example for it. The fewer color is a classic example of multiple alleles where it can be seen in the influence of the allele on the phenotypic directly with the naked eye. How we did not see or cold not observe the blood groups phenotype in human, but for this trait we can observe with naked eye without having to use any technique for explanation. The fewer color is controlled by at least four different alleles in what? In rabbit. Which are C means color, A albino, C color, H Himalayan, C again color, CH chinchilla, and capital C is agouti. Note that the allele which capital C agouti is responsible for the gray color agouti, which is dominant. This allele has the full dominant over all other three remaining alleles, albino, Himalayan, and chinchilla. With regard to the allele, chinchilla in turn is dominant over two alleles, albino and Himalayan. Himalayan dominant over albino, so the order dominance for this alleles will be follows. So this order, what we need to memorize, aguti, dominant over chichila, dominant over Himalayan, and dominant over albino. So in hybrid trait means with chinchilla and Himalayan, what appear in phenotype? Chinchilla. Aguti with Himalayan, aguti. Himalayan and albino, phenotype Himalayan. Some sources claim that there is incomplete dominance between of chinchilla and between chinchilla and albino, so when these two alleles meet in the same individual between chinchilla and Himalayan and between chinchilla and albino, result is light gray color can be seen, but we focus on what? We focus on this order. And these are all the possible genotypes for them because there are four alleles and the aguti is four dominant, four aguti, there are four different genotypes, one pure dominant and three hybrid dominance. For chinchilla, when it is dominant over two, so there are two hybrids for it, Himalayan dominant over albino, one hybrid, and albino, which is recessive according to all other alleles, it must be pure. Before this page, <coughs> There are no so many questions about the color or fewer color of rabbit. So we need to memorize these genotypes. So mainly in question, they give information, full information about parents, or there is no information about parents. We predict their genotype from the given information about the offspring. Like if an agouti crossed with another, Himalayan, for example, and it produces albino. So what are the genotype for parents and offspring, F generation? So F generation albino, we know it is pure recessive. Albino must be pure. And how we studied in Mendelian genetics, each of this factor come one of the parents. So one allele from this parent, one from that parent. It means what? It means agouti is full dominant. At least one of the allele must be C, capital. So Himalayan dominant over albino, so one of them also Himalayan. But about the purity of them, so we look offspring, each of this allele must be received from one of the parents so we can predict the genotype of parents and we can find the other kind of or probability for offsprings. So if we solved it, for example, what 
Aguti with Himalayan. What we find in Utep, they are both of them are hybrid, hybrid produce, two kind of gametes, capital C, C with A, C with H, and C with A. So F generation, capital C with CH, means in phenotype Aguti. In second, capital C with A, again Aguti, CHCA, Himalayan, and what one pure recessive means albino. So mainly, you may remember some question from the blood groups too, to be sure about the purity of parents when two hybrid conjugated, and there's one pure full recessive organism. From this full recessive organism, we can predict the genotype of parents. Quantitative genetics or inheritance of multi genes. This is the transmission of genetic traits as a result of impact cumulative or additive for the number of genes in the cell. Most of the qualities in human are quali qualities of multiple genes or polygenes, which means the trait or quality in human not controlled only by one, one pair of genes, but there are more genes with gene interaction effect on phenotype of organism. They greatly influenced by the genes and environment as well. Right. Environment has big effect on phenotype. The character of multiple genes in human is skin color, as example, eye color, intelligence, blood pleasure, body weight, and total number of skin lines, which on the thumb, like finger prints on both hands. So there are examples for what? For multiple genes, traits in human. But we're going to study on one of them as example, which one? The eye color. Note that the number of lion's fingerprints models are largely appointed by multiple genes as well as partially respond to the environment of the uterus, which is environmental factor, multifactorial trait. So trait which phenotype is affected by what? Not only gene, but also environment, so multi more than one factor effect on it. It has been observed in some communities there are differences between the sexes, female and female, in the distribution of installing these lines where the average of number in the male sample 145, while average number in female 126 lines. These numbers can be different in some other societies. The properties with multiple genes available in the other creature is the seed color in the wheat, Yes, seed color on the wheat also can be affected by environment. Among production of seeds, fruits, and time required to reach the maturity in plants, which depend on what the environment is also controlled by more than one pair of genes. Also, the amount of milk, meat, eggs, and the rest of economically important traits in some animals. Concept of multiple genes. Multiple genes is defined as having slight impact on the phenotype when gene is alone. As it combines with a few or many other genes, it can control quantitative property. Quantitative trait system are different qualities from Mendelian trait system or descriptive qualitative traits in the followings. So a comparison between quantitative and qualities traits. You may remember for Mendelian genetic, we said quality is important, but quantity is not important. So if we compare them, how they are different one from another, now we get some information. We know we are familiar with qualitative genetics, so we compare it with quantitative. 
like in Mendel, it's controlled by what? One pair of genes. But quantitative genetics can be controlled by more than one pair of multiple genes. Not only two, maybe four, maybe more, control only one trait. The phenotypic model for members of F1 hybrid is similar to the pure dominant phenotypic model for the parents. So if A capital, A small, or A capital, A capital are as similar in phenotype. Phenotypic model for the members of the first generation will compromise between the parents. So always new kind of phenotypes can appear which are different from parents in quantitative traits, but in qualitative, exactly same as parent, both of them. In differentiation discontinuous type, differentiation discontinuous type, so red and white, if conjugate with one in Mendelian genetics, there are two probability, only red and white. In first second generation, second generation, third generation, but these traits are fixed, not diverse. Thus, F2 or the following generation can be distributed the members of the limited phenotypic groups, number not increase or types not increase. In quantitative traits, differentiation is <coughs> continuously. So continuously new type of organism which are differ from parents can appear. So the member of F2 or following generation cannot be distributed to limited phenotypic groups. How we said for Mendelian genetics, for monohybrid cross 3 to 1, for the hybrid cross 9, 3, 3, 1, and they are fixed, but for quantitative traits, we cannot give limited phenotypic groups. So each time new traits which are different from parents can appear. In qualitative traits, access multiple genes is complete, so dominance complete, except in some cases it will be affected by it environment. Only some small cases, some organisms in qualitative traits can be affected by environment, but more than this phenotype, more than environment depend on what? genotype. Excess multiple genes is incomplete. Why? Because the genes have no full effect on phenotype, but what? Therefore, they affected by environment. But because in Mendelian genetics there is full dominance, the full dominance mainly has full effect on phenotype. So the phenotypic ratio in Mendel 9331, the phenotypic ratio for the F2 members will be respect to bilateral hybrids one, four, six, four, one, and can diverse in next generations. Measuring the effect of multiple genes heritability coefficient. As we remember, we said in qualitative Mendelian genetics, only in some cases of some organisms, some traits, the phenotype affected by environment but in quantitative genetics, there are more effect of environment than phenotype of organism. Most of quantitative traits influenced by heredity and environments. Mid genetic plus environment determine the phenotype of organism, but different traits organism in various degrees. So researchers are interested in this area in measuring the heritability coefficient about how much the phenotype affected by environment or genotype. So research for the quantitative trait for its outstanding role estimating the genetic improvement expected from the election. The heritability coefficient statistical measure shows the amount of variance in the population which due to genetic factors between one, zero, and one. Approaching the value one indicates on the impact of genetic and vice versa and the, the phenotype affected by genetics or more affected by environment. For example, heritability coefficient for prescription number of lines equal to 0 0.66. This means that the genes have additional effect 
have the influencing role in the expression of this traits. So heritability about percentage, additive variation, phenotypic variation. So like red and white can produce red and white only. But if more than red and white, for example, three more new phenotypes appear means effect of what? In total, there are five red and white form and there. But in addition, if, for example, yellow, purple, and green also appear. So not only two, but now five traits appear. So these two traits, we know they are affected by what? Genotype. But phenotypic variation, total number, like five, but additive variation, how many? Three. So about three over five, about what? If we, about 60% environment effect on what? On phenotype of organism. So it means what? 0 0.6 closer to one, zero. So the effect of environment, it changes from zero to one. How much closer to zero? Effect of genotype more. How closer to the one? Effect of environment increases. So 0 0.5, like 50, 50, lower than 0 0.5, effect of genotype more or more than 0 0.5, the effect of environment more on phenotype of organism. This kind of inheritance can be explained by the following example. There are no question about the explanation about what we studied before, but mainly its application is asked in ministry exam and application is shown by one example about the eye color in human. If we assume that the inheritance of eye color in him is under the influence of a couple of alleles, allele AA and allele BB, then if a man dark brown or black eye, full capital, is mated with a woman with light blue eyes, which is full recessive, then the eye color for their descent will be indicated the following diagram. So in genetics, dark brown or black eye, in genotype, they are same. Or light blue or light green, also in similar genotype. So full dominant and full recessive, because they are pure, pure, this one kind of gamete. So hybrid organism like what? Light brown eye, average between parents. If the members of the first generation are mated to the members of the same type in their genotype, the phenotype in second generation will be as follows, as one, four, six, four, one. So you can say why we always mate with the pure dominant, with pure recessive, and by the hybrid F1 generation, mate with itself, self-fertilization. We do this to find the all probabilities in F2 generation. So, but this light brown, medium brown, these traits, we need to memorize them. So the eye color becomes black or dark brown. We use this genotype. The moderate medium brown, two probability. We said it's quantitative genetics. Quantitative depend on numbers, number of how many of these letters or genes are dominant. Full dominant, dark brown or black. Three dominant, one recessive, medium brown, like the eye color, a bit lighter. So it's not important B is recessive or A is recessive because not depend on quality about which one, depend on quantity, how many. The eye color becomes moderate light brown when there are two dominant and two recessive alleles. So two A can be dominant, 
two B can be dominant or one A, one B can be dominant, no difference. So there are three probabilities for eye color. So you can ask question, which one of this we going to use in questions when it ask us to for the medium brown. So we say medium brown, you have to write both this genotype and use one of them is enough. You know, have to use both probabilities. The eye color appears deep blue or green when there is one dominant allele and three recessive. This dominant A or B is not different. So there are two probability for what? For deep blue or deep green. With regard to the light blue or light green, shown when there are no dominant allele by all day, recessive. So like black or dark brown, medium brown, light brown, deep blue, and light blue. So in order, we need to memorize what this genotype, full dominant, one recessive, two recessive, three recessive, and all recessive alleles.